Well, what's going on everybody? Wacko Backo here. Happy official release day of the second set in the Scarlet and Violet generation. We have Paldea Evolved. I was able to get this booster box off of a buddy of mine over at SRQ Cards. He's over in Sarasota. He has a little shop right next to Munchies Cafe, if you guys are familiar with the area. Uh, really, really cool guy. I've got stuff from him before. If you guys remember the, uh, uh, what was it? Never mind, forget that. So, sorry, I have heard of stuff from him before, but I know he had a couple of these, so I wanted to get some. So, I'm going to cover this for today and tomorrow. You guys know how I do booster boxes, even though I haven't done one in a while. I usually do just 18 packs per opening, kind of spread it out just a little bit. Uh, I am giving away a whole bunch of these codes because, uh, Actually, at the time of this video going live, I'm probably traveling at this point. Uh, like I've been mentioning a lot lately that uh, I'm getting ready for deployment. And uh, yeah, I'm probably uh, already on the road traveling today. At least I hope so. But uh, yeah, so this video is going to cover today and tomorrow. And then uh, I might do some kind of short video uh, whenever I get into my training site. Just so you guys know that I made it up there all right. Open up a couple packs or something. Maybe do a YouTube short. I don't know, haven't figured that out yet, but uh, that's for future me to worry about. But uh, yeah, hopefully we have some good luck with this here. Uh, first couple packs, so hold on, before we get into that, I did notice that they do this really cool pattern on here. Um, obviously I didn't open up Scarlet and Violet base set, so I don't know if they did on that one as well. But uh, yeah, so here we go. Whole booster box. I'm super excited to crack into this. Uh, I'm just going to do it this way. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. So there's nine. Let's do like the back nine over here. Come on. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, that was actually perfect. Uh, so we'll leave the other 18 packs here for tomorrow or the second part of this, if you will. Um, but yeah, so here we go. Let's just kind of shuffle these around just a little bit, uh, look at all the pack arts, and then get right into it. Um, so like I was about to mention before, but then I interrupted myself. Um, Usually when I do booster box openings, uh, we'll kind of take it easy and go slow through the first couple packs so we kind of look at all the new artwork and then we'll pick up the pace as we go on. But let's take a look at all the new pack art. So it's one of the new legendaries from, I'm assuming, the upcoming expansion. Um, but yeah, I think it's just four pack arts. Let me just make sure. Maybe it's five. Oh, there is five. So there we go. So we have the three starters and then the two new um, legendaries. So pretty cool. I'm super excited to get into this here. Let me make sure I still get this right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there we go. Um, but yeah, super excited to crack into this, um, especially because I don't know how much I'm going to be opening up stuff going forward, as I mentioned before. Um, but I'm going to do my best to keep up. If, uh, if I can't, then obviously I'll let you guys know. Here's a code for you. Um, but I'll still be collecting, so don't worry about that. That's not going to stop. Um, but here we go. Let's see what we have. So we have Sneasel. We have Gothita. We have Mastiff. Really, really angry dog there. We have Wingle just getting right into the camera there. We have Sag Saguro. Um, yeah, we'll go with that. Looks like a pretty angry bartender, maybe even a barber. Uh, oh, there we go. So there is Giraffe Rig's Evolve form. Uh, Faragrip. Yeah. Farrah Giraffe, yeah, fair Giraffe. So we'll go with that. Uh, really, really cool. Ooh, Zwellius right there. Very, very nice. You got the school in the background there. All right, so it should stay the same as the as Scarlet and Violet. We're going to have two uh, reverses and then the hollow. Obviously, right behind this, potential for something big. Uh, Jet Energy as the first reverse. They did keep the reverse pattern. Kind of neat. Uh, we have Dino as the second reverse. And what are we going to start off with? Ooh, nice Palmot. All right, so there we go. First hollow. Uh, card number 76 of 193. Um, I think what I was reading, it's, this is a pretty big set. Uh, even though it is the second set in, um, I'm pretty sure there is a lot of cards in this set. Oh, which pile did I pick from? Sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, I picked from the top. Um, yeah, pretty big set. So again, that's just all the regular cards in the set, not counting all the... Uh, the art rares, the secret art rares, uh, the full art, so on and so forth. So, yeah, super excited to see what we end up getting out of this. And then, like I said, uh, the next video will be the second part of this. So here we go. All right, so we have uh, we have uh, Nalxi. Or, uh, and so if you think about it, this is actually just like a big piece of salt. Uh, obviously, NAC 
um, especially in terms of like you know the the scientific term <laughs> breakdown for salt. It definitely does look like a uh, a mushroom from Mario though. All right, we have Satoddle there. We have Pui Coco, very very nice. I like the artwork on that one. We have Watriel, um, first form there, really really cool. We got a whole bunch of them just flying in right there. Uh, we have Gotharita, okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna have the final form also. We have Honchcrow, just hanging out on that branch there. Sudowoodo, very, very nice. Love the artwork on that one. I think, if I remember correctly, I think the art rare for Sudowoodo is in this set, which would be huge because I have it in Japanese already. Love to have it in English. All right, so we have, uh, so Nalk Stack, uh, which is also like Salt Stack, if you will. Uh, so the vol form of the first one, let's see what's behind it. We have Ice Q, there we go, makes its return from Sword and Shield, and Hydreigon Hollow, very, very nice, number 140. Um, let's see, keep these off to the side, move these over here. Uh, I'm just taking a little extra time with these, mainly because, like I said, it's all new artwork, but uh, I want to take all the reverses off to the side right away, so when I go through and get the binder set up, um, it's going to, oh, there's the energy. What am I doing? Take this off. Yeah, all right. We already saw that. Um, so yeah, when I go and get the binder set up, um, I can have all the hollows and reverses off to the side and then all the normal cards. So we have Noibat is back with uh, just that single gust there. We have Sprigatado or Sprigatito. Uh, we have Quaxley right behind it. I love the artwork for all the starters. Really, really nice. Uh, we have Char Cadet. Really, really nice artwork there. Ooh, Reversal Energy. Okay, really, really cool. We have the Therapeutic Energy choice belt uh we have uh croco uh that's the obviously the vol form of Fuicoco. let's see if there's anything behind it spy dops okay regular card in this one here and a hariyama hollow all right nice i'll take it um obviously we're gonna get a whole bunch of stuff out of this booster box but i'm kind of curious how this works especially with all the new rarities um, and if I didn't open up a booster box for Scarlet and Violet, I'm pretty sure I said that probably eight times already, sorry. Um, but yeah, so this is my first uh, booster box from this generation. Interested to see how it's laid out. We have Litleo, we have Rockruff, so two dogs. There's a lot of dogs in this generation. We have Palmy, just kind of hanging out there. We have Larvitar, okay, nice, very, very nice. We have the Bravery Charm. We have Gotharita again, Honchcrow. And then we have Bramblin. Uh, this lawyer just looks like a tumbleweed with eyes. All right, let's see what's behind it. We have Nal Nalsi again. And behind that is an Obama Snow. All right, nothing too crazy just yet. But uh, I don't know. I did shuffle things around because I wanted to keep the order random. Um, again, I don't know if they have these mapped out or not. I haven't seen anyone kind of go through that yet. But uh, yeah, uh, obviously there's bound to be hits in here somewhere. How awful would that be if uh, on official release day of this set I get a dud booster box? But it's all right. I'm having fun going through this, especially with all the new artwork, and hopefully you'll enjoy it as well. All right, so we have the Dung Beetle, also known as Relor. We have Tadbulb, a little tadpole there with a big lightning bulb head. We have uh, Frigibax. Um, that's what I'm going to call it, Frigibax. It's a little dinosaur. Um, in the game, I still haven't got its final form yet. I'm still slowly playing through that game. It's it's become more tedious than enjoyable at this point because the frame rates are just so bad in the game. Um, it really kind of messes with me, and I can only play in short sessions. All right, Tandem Mouse. We have Palmo, or yeah, Palmo, final form there. We have Tinkatuff. All right, so it finally made a card for Tinkatuff. Um, that thing looks pretty crazy with that giant maul it's carrying around. We have the Bravery Charm. All right, so we have Relor as the first reverse. Ooh! <laughs> okay <laughs> all right um yeah all right so there's a good start right there we have uh brax caliber so that's the final form of that dragon um nice so i finally get to see what it is in this crazy trippy card here number 210 of 193 uh, and as you can see the set number there it just says pal en so um instead of it having like the set numbers um it's just going to say like the first couple letters of the set so that's kind of neat Let's see if there's anything behind it. I Ooh, uh, nope, I think it's just a regular hollow behind it. And we have Spirit Tomb as the hollow. So very, very nice. This thing looks absolutely insane. I don't think the camera does it justice, but uh, our first actual hit of this generation. And I'll gladly take it. Definitely off to a good start there. 
with that on to the next. Um, I will go through and sleeve all this stuff after the fact. Um, I just want to kind of rip through this here and then I'll do all that later. Um, all right, so here we go, water energy. We have Santa Gast, we have uh, Toratula, we have Char Cadet, another different artwork for that one. We have Murkrow, there's a bunch of Murkrows on that one. Sudowudo, we have Grusha, or Grusha, um, don't know how to pronounce her name, I'm probably butchering it. Primeape, awesome artwork for Primeape there, just kind of staring down his opponent, or the trainer. We have uh, Low Kicks, uh, that's really, really cool bug Pokemon. It kind of evolves from like, uh, like a little grasshopper into this uh to this ninja bug we have obama snow is the reverse there oh nice our first ex very nice we have squawkabilly ex our first ex very very nice i'll gladly take that move these off to the side real quick and take a look at this again um i'm really liking the ex pattern it's definitely growing on me i do like all the little hollow foil throughout the whole entire card plus all the pokemon are just kind of like rearing their way out of each uh framework so that's kind of neat all right, on to the next. We're picking up the pace a little bit here, finally getting some hits after all those duds to start us off, but it's all good. I'm enjoying the brand new set, and hopefully you guys are able to get your hands on some of this. Uh, so, ooh, another uh, uh, tank a tank um, We have Shrudel. I guess I'll save what I was going to say here in a second. We have Gimlet, or Gimet. Uh, we have Bramblin. We have uh, Grusha, or Grusha. Primeape. We have Miss Magius made a return, okay. Tyranitar, very nice, and that is a rare. So I'm assuming, obviously, there's going to be a hollow for that, but that looks really, really cool. We have Pupitar right behind it, so nice. We have the whole evolution chain knocked out now. And, ooh, there we go. So there's a regular hollow for this as well, the Bax Caliber, very nice. Um, what was I going to say? What was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, so, again, I'm, as I was mentioning this before, I'm kind of recording this a little bit ahead of time, but dropping it on the official release day. Um, but, uh, yeah, so I'm supposed to have other stuff getting delivered today, which kind of sucks because I'm gone. Like, like I said, at the time of this video going live, I'm on the road traveling and I'm supposed to have, uh, the Pokemon Center ETBs coming in, I'm supposed to have the single sleeve blisters coming in, but, uh, all that stuff's going to have to sit and wait until I get back home, uh, I don't know, probably a year or longer from now. Pineco. So there is that kind of symbol again. We've seen that a couple times already. I'm curious what that's about. I haven't figured it out in the game yet. Tinka Tink. We have Mankey. Very nice artwork. All a lot of bright and vibrant artwork here. Good old Croc Crocolore chasing that berry. Pelipper made a return. Fletchender is back. We have Tinka Tonk there. Final evolution there. Again, that humongous club as the reverse. We have Slacking. Okay, made a return. Another reverse rare. So both of those have the potential to be hollows. And let's see what's behind this. Is an Oracorio. This multicolored bird is back. Unfortunately, I don't know. I just I just wasn't a big fan of it, um, and especially because they do like every different color, and then they have a card for every single thing. I really hope this set's not flooded with them, but uh, we're bound to see more of the the different styles of that Pokemon throughout this generation. All right, Shinx. Ooh, nice again. Nice and bright artwork here. We have Nimble. We have Mashif. We have Slack Off, just kind of uh, contemplating his life there, trying to figure things out. Uh, we have Bramble Gas, so there's the evolved form of that one. Again, it's just like an evil tumbleweed with eyes. Toxicroak, really nice artwork there for Toxicroak. We have uh, Croc Crocolore, um, Primeape as the reverse. Ooh, <laughs> okay, all right, um, <laughs> all right. Absolutely insane artwork here from Tinkaton. EX, this is, I'm assuming this is her alt art, uh, 262 of 193. And again, uh, I don't look at any of this stuff ahead of time, at least for the first opening. Um, so absolutely beautiful card there and a Weavile Hollow. Um, yeah, absolutely insane artwork. Um, yeah, beautiful. I don't know what else to say besides that. Um, I'm assuming that's going to be our big hit for the box, but again, we still have plenty more to go through. We have the next nine packs to rip here. Um, but yeah, that's absolutely insane. Like I was saying, I don't look at this set ahead of time. So once I'm done with this here and I'm sorting through and getting everything in the binder, then I'll go through and look at the whole set. Uh, Quaxley, I think that's a second artwork for Quaxley. Um, Pin Curtain's back with a little claymation. But yeah, we'll have to check out the set list after this and see what else we have in store. 
Heracross, good to see you. We have Kel Watrell. Azumarill is back, so Meryl's back as well. Uh, we have Palmo as the first reverse. Nice, okay, there we go. Absolutely insane. So this is even higher than this one here. So we have the uh, Sagaro or Sagiro, Sagaro. I want to say Tom Sagora for some reason. Um, but this is a full art. I'm assuming it's his alt art because it's 270. Um, usually at that part of the set, you have an alt art. So either we just got crazy lucky or maybe that's how it's supposed to be. Again, I didn't I didn't open up a booster box from before. See if we have anything behind it. And a Hariyama Hollow. Absolutely beautiful. Again, I'm assuming both of these are alt arts. Um, there's probably a regular full art version of both of these, but absolutely beautiful. Pretty much back to back, uh, if not actually back to back. Uh, I guess I'm just too excited to remember five seconds ago. But uh, yeah, absolutely beautiful. Two huge hits right there. I will gladly take. Let me shuffle some of this stuff over just a little bit here. Um, we're looking good on time, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this. If you are, make sure you hit that like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, but yeah, so first look at Paldea Evolved. Some of the packs are kind of pre-opened and not sealed properly, but uh, I'm not going to complain because the hits are coming. So uh, yeah, I, I'm liking this set so far. I think there's a big worry um, with this set. Ooh, Magikarp. Um, because if you look at the trend right now, so it's kind of looking like Sword and Shield when it started off. Base set was pretty good. I enjoyed it. Then you had uh, Rebel Clash, which nobody liked besides me. Um, so people were thinking this was going to be like the Rebel Clash set, which again, I, I really don't think it's going to be, but it doesn't help that the next set after this that they've already shown off and teased has Charizard in it. So of course that's going to be like the darkness of Blaze for this generation. Um, ooh, so we got Iowa or I, oh my goodness, I'm really struggling with that right now. I, I know, you know, um, yeah, anyway, we got the regular and the. Uh, reverse. I wonder if the full art's in this set also. Uh, we have um, Frigabax as the second reverse. Ooh, nice. There we go. Another EX. So this is the legendary here. This is Ting Lu EX. Very, very nice there. Um, yeah. But again, it's going to take me a while for me to get used to these names, especially because I just played... I'm just casually playing the game. And of course, there's no uh, voice acting in the games. At least from what I've seen so far. So uh, all these names, and you know, I'm just trying to you know pronounce them the best that I can. Um, we have Clavel, we have Tropius makes a return here. We have Dunsparce. I think there's an evolved form of Dunsparce now. Hopip. We have Kilowattrol, Azumarill, Vespa Queen. We have Mistrevious as the first reverse. Mousehold as the second. And Wigglytuff, very, very cool artwork there for Wigglytuff as the Hollow Rare. Um, but yeah, so again, without hearing these names being said, I'm just kind of trying to pronounce them the best that I can. So let me know in the comments. If you're watching this, uh, let me know how I'm doing in terms of pronouncing all these names. I know I'm butchering a lot of them, but it's all right. My whole life, people have butchered my last name, and uh, I'm, I'm okay with it. I've heard all different kinds of variations, and uh, very few people get it right the first time. All right, so we have Rock Rough, we have Palmy, Lavatar, we have Dino, we have the Salt Stack, we have Corvusquire, we have Jet Energy, Gotharita as the first reverse, Palmy as the second, Andy Orth. <laughs> so we brought in the Worm finally. We have Orthworm as the Hollow. Very, very nice. So, good amount of Hollows and a bunch of different ones. Um, I don't think we've gotten too many um, repeating ones. Maybe. Yeah, just the Hariyama so far. So, I mean, we're getting all the hollows knocked out, which is kind of nice. Especially in a set where you get a hollow or high in every pack. Um, actually, I mean, like, this whole generation's like that. But, uh, yeah, that's not bad. All right, let's see what else we have here. You know, I'm kind of excited now because, well, even more excited now because we're getting all these huge hits here. And uh, I'm kind of hoping that uh, we still have hits in the other half of this box. I did kind of shuffle everything around, so... To make it a little more random, but we'll have to wait and see. We have the fighting all lot. Uh, obviously, some kind of potion or drink there. What? Okay. Uh, Quaxly. Very, very nice. Or Quaxwell, sorry. Uh, as the um, as the illustrator or the art rare. Very, very nice there. So, I'm assuming this one has the three stages of all of them. And boss's order is very, very nice. Um, another new hollow. Um, but yeah, so I'm assuming Quaxly has one. And probably it's evolved form. It has like the alt art iteration but uh very very nice i'll gladly take that 
All right, just a few more packs here. But don't worry, tomorrow's video is going to roll right into the second half of this. Uh, obviously, I'm not going to wait because uh, I want to get into this right away. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we still have some other huge pulls here. We have Wooper, uh, Noibat, and Combi. We have Gimmet, uh, or Gimmet. We have Ice Q. We have, uh, we have Ono. I'm just going to call it that. Maybe that works a little bit better. We have Salt Stack, Murkrow as the first reverse. We have the Paldean Tauros. There's a couple different iterations of this, so I'm curious if we're going to see them in the cards. And behind it is a Weavile. All right, so another duplicate hollow, but again, I will gladly take it, especially in this first opening here. Um, again, first overall impressions, pretty impressed so far. We've got a lot of good hits. I'm um, kind of crazy that I pulled both of those high-end hits back to back. Um, yeah, and again, I don't know how these boxes are mapped out, so if someone else opens one of these, let me know how your luck is. Um, but, uh, yeah, I'm kind of, it's kind of bittersweet that I'm going through this, right? Because, uh, I'm about to leave for a long time and I don't know how often I'll be able to keep up with all the sets going forward. Um, uh, so this is kind of like one of the last big openings I'm doing for a while. Um, again, unless I have a whole bunch of free time and I don't know of it as of right now. Um, uh, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. And again, I'll keep trying to put out as much content as I can. Anyway, we're almost at 22 minutes for 18 packs. I got to pick up the pace here. We have Grusha as the first reverse. We have Flamingo as the second. All right, cool. Very, very nice. Flamingo. And Mimikyu makes a return. All right, very, very nice. So I was thinking of something the other day. How cool would it be? So, like, they've done all the evolutions, right? Obviously, different element types, so on and so forth. How cool would it be if Mimikyu, because the actual Pokemon is, you know, underneath this costume, if they did different Mimikyu, or I'm sorry, not the Eevees. I'm scatterbrained again. If they did like how they've done with the Ditto cards previously, where it's like a different Pokemon or it's blending in with Pokemon, what if they did that with Mimikyu, where like he just bounces into another outfit, um, and then they have like a whole little subset of different Mimikyu cards? I don't know. Random thought that came into my head. Let me know what you think. But here we go. Last couple packs. Let me know what your favorite pack art is. By the way, I did show all them off in the beginning. Um, I don't know. Uh, I'll have to look at them again uh, just because I wanted to kind of roll right through it. But, uh, I don't know, uh, probably the fire starters final form. Um, but, uh, again, I'll take a look at all of them and I'll let you guys know. All right, so we have Noibat as the first reverse. We have M Mabostiff as the second. And, okay, nice. So final form for this one, we have Grimora or Glimora as the hollow. So I, I really think we got all the hollows knocked out. Um, I'm assuming there's probably a few more that I'm missing, but not too bad. So here we go. Last pack for this first take on Paldea Evolved. Again, I really, really like it so far. We've got some solid hits, and uh, I'm interested to see what the other half of this box has in store for us. Um, like I said, don't worry, this video is going to be uploaded, and then we're going to crack into the second half of this and be uploaded on Saturday. So let's see what we have here. We have Orin Guru makes a return as the reverse there. We have Kilowattro as the second, and ooh, very, very nice. We have Cerule Edge as the hollow very very nice i wonder if we're going to see both iterations of that that's the psychic and i think there is a uh, a fire type as well but again not too bad for our first 18 packs obviously a bunch of the hollows here uh, we got two ex's we got squawkabilly and we got ting lu the new legendary uh, we have uh Bax, Bax Caliber and quacks well as the altar or i'm sorry as the art rares and then we got two alt arts here absolutely insane and beautiful cards here tinkaton ex and sagorio or sag sagari oh my goodness sago sag sagorio sagaro sagaro anyway um i'm just gonna leave off with that i'm gonna get all the stuff sleeved up we're gonna crack into the second half of this i will recap these at the end of the next video so everyone can see the whole entire box results but that's going to do it for me, guys. It took up enough of your time. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this first part and our first look at Paldea Evolved. Uh, I'm going to get this uploaded and crack right into the second half of this. That's going to do it for me, guys. I'm Wacko Backo. Take it easy.